Yeah, it's tough. We need to uh, we need to come out and execute better in the first half. You know, we had opportunities uh, at times, like you said, had big plays, and and we weren't playing clean football. So um, we have to clean that up. I mean, it's, you're not gonna you're not gonna put, put yourself in position to uh, you know compete for wins if if you're constantly you know shooting yourself in the foot. So uh, you know, starts with me all the way around. We have to be cleaner as an offense. From your perspective, uh, what is the reasoning? It's just the way the, the game worked out, I guess. I, I have to go back and look at the tape and, and, and the play calls, but um, you know, we have a lot of confidence in Corey, and, and I know we can get open for it. So uh, we just need to, to do a. I think he, he caught one in the first half, into the first half, in the two minute drive, actually. He caught a, uh, a route for us on the right side. So I uh, got one to him in the first half, but uh, yeah, well, I mean, Corey's a good player for us, and, and he makes plays. You know, he did some good things for us there at the end. Um, you know, I know if the ball goes his way, he's going to catch it. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, we didn't extend the drive because we had, you know, penalties and uh, turnovers and, and things like that. So, uh, yeah, you, you got to be able to stay on the field. You know, we wore our defense out. I felt like uh, just because, as an offense, we couldn't stay on the field. We kept putting them back out there, and that's on the offense. You know, we have to be able to sustain drives, stay on the field, and, and put points on the board. You know, we felt like we. Got off to a decent start there early, got down, down in field goal range. But um, after that, you know, we really didn't do anything until uh, until that two-minute drive. So, uh, yeah, we have to be, play cleaner football on offense. Is there a candidate behind the, uh, uh, the second interception to the safety to make a good break on that ball? Yeah, I was being really aggressive there. Uh, you know, the situation in the game, uh, I was probably obviously too aggressive. Um, you know, safety was in a quarter's look, but he was soft. I was thinking Khalif could bend it around in there in front of him. Uh, I knew it was going to be tight, but uh, just being really aggressive with the situation in the game and uh, obviously too aggressive. Derek touched the ball on all but one play on that first drop in the second half. You guys kind of marched down. Super efficient, and I know it wasn't easy, but and then we look at the first half stats and he touched the ball twice. Can you understand the confusion over that? Kind of explain maybe what went into some of the thinking. I know you're not calling the plays there, but it seemed like he could have helped you a lot more in the first yeah, I think he, he had some touches in the first half. They were big plays, and they got called back. You know, so it wasn't like we weren't we weren't calling plays. We didn't have that many plays, and then uh, the good plays that we did have with them, I felt like they they got called back. I have to go back and look and see exactly, you know, what happened. But um, yeah, I know we had some runs in the first half, had some opportunities, but you know, you shoot yourselves in the foot, and it's gonna be tough to uh, sustain drives. You know, he did a great job coming out offensive line, did a great job opening up those holes for him. We see if we can get him through the line of scrimmage, then he's a tough guy to bring down. So. I think we saw that there at the start of the second half. We have to be more efficient earlier in the game uh, so we can allow him more carries. How much harder is your job when Derek Henry distance? Well, obviously, it's, it's tougher. You know, we, we want to uh, be able to run the football, um, have a lot of confidence in Derek and, and what he brings to the run game. Um, but sometimes that's, that's the way the game goes. You know, you never really know how it's going to go. You have a plan when you come in and how you expect it to go, but um, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Can you talk about the offensive production um, first half versus second half and what worked for you to be able to get some points in the play? Yeah, we kept shooting ourselves in the foot in the first half. You know, whether it be penalties, turnovers, uh, we weren't staying on the field. And in the second half, um, felt like even though we were down, we came out with good energy, good juice, and you know, marched the ball right down the field in the first drive. Uh, and there was a there was a belief on the sideline that hey, we're going to keep ourselves in this game and, and have a chance to win it at the end. And um, you know. Obviously, it didn't work out that way, but that was our belief on the sideline in the huddle. I think everyone kept believing and kept fighting, and so I'm proud of the guys for that. Did the pace help, do you think, going at a quicker pace in the second half? Out of necessity, maybe? Oh, I mean, it was out of necessity, right? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, defense changes when, when you're doing that, when they're up two scores, so it's not just, just the pace, you know. It's, there's a lot of factors that go into that, but uh, I feel like our guys did execute well. Uh, we had some other guys coming. We had Tajay in the back. Um, Derek was, was coming on the, from the back side. I uh, just couldn't get back to him because I was getting that, that pressure from the, uh, the edge guy inside. Couldn't uh, you know, stop and, and get it back to him. So, um, you know, tough coverage. The, the guy was uh, waiting there for, for uh, Adam. And, um, 
you know, weren't able to, to fit it in there. You took a couple shots down the field. One of them got past the Was that in the game plan or something you saw going coming into this game, or is that just something the flow took? Uh, a couple of them that was just the flow of the game. Um, you know, we knew that, that these guys were, were aggressive on the outside, and they made some plays on the outside, and, and we were going to have to take shots to, to back them up. And, uh, you know, early in the game, we got a shot down to uh, it was Tajay, I believe, right? And we um, weren't able to hit it, but the guy's all over him, and, and we got the call. So um, felt like, you know, the play to AJ down the right side that was huge on third down for us uh, really got us going one of those one of those drives. But yeah, we're going to have to push the ball down the field to uh, to open up things underneath. That's going to be a necessity the rest of the year. After back-to-back wins, how big of a step back is today? Well, it hurts, you know, especially how it went down. You know, uh, you know, we didn't, like I've said multiple times, we didn't execute. We didn't play well in the first half. We kept shooting ourselves in the foot. And when you do that, it's it's tough to swallow. You know, when you come out and and you play – clean football and, and you get beat, you know, losing's always tough. But whenever you shoot yourself in the foot, it, it hurts a lot worse. Given, given the, uh, how decisive you moved the ball in that first drive of the second half, what adjustments did you get to make at halftime? What did you see uh, from the first half that allowed you to make I don't think there was any big adjustments. You know, we had some runs that we wanted to get called in that first drive, but um, guys came out and executed, you know. We gave Derek creases. When you give Derek creases, he's, he's big, he's strong, he's tough. He runs hard, and he's tough to bring down. So um, offensive line got him to the line of scrimmage clean, and, and he was able to, uh, to get through. Um, you know, if we can do that any time of the game, you know, we're, we're going to be in good shape. Thanks, Thank you.